All right, the difficult part three, hole number eight. These are the recommended wind angle tweaks. And I will have the tweaks mentioned in the description box as well. I'm going to show you drops in the red wind angle and in the blue wind angle. Now in red wind angle, I needed to use four clicks of curl. However, I used two and you see we will just snuck inside. And uh, in case of blue wind angle, I needed three and I used three clicks of left curl and it dropped at center. So let's uh, look at both of the shots. Now this shot is played in the red wind angle where I needed four clicks of left curl and I only used two, but we, um, but I was still able to sneak this one in. Four backspin, one left spin at complete P3 max, keeping the yellow ring touching the rough. With a slight 1201 pull, very important. I'm going to adjust one is to one for 9.2 miles per hour. I'm adjusting 9.2 rings. See, I'll add two clicks of left curl. One, two. And I needed four here. But uh, you will still see, we will sneak this one in for the drop. See, just there. If I had two clicks more, it would have come dead center. Upcoming replay is played in the blue wind angle where I'm going to apply three clicks of left curl. Same setup at complete P3 max, yellow ring by the rough. Four back spin, one left spin. With a 1201 flick, adjust one is to one for 9.1 miles per hour. I'm going to adjust 9.1 rings. And then apply three clicks of left curl and hit perfect. This will once again drop for the hole in one. I believe this is the toughest part three amongst all three of them. Give this a token or two and you might be able to drop this one as well.